I met Ariana DeBose on the set of Ryan Murphy's The Prom. I was cast as Ariana's mom, which is super weird, you know, because I'm so young. <laughs> but I was like a cool, hip, young mom, you know, anyway, it's not about me. Okay, so honestly, she was cast as the romantic interest, kind of like a second lead in this film adaptation of yet another smash Broadway hit. I fell for Ari the moment I met her. West Side Story was a sacred musical in the Broadway canon, and at the time, Ariana thought that she was other. Yeah, she was. She was short on time to prepare, it's true. But what she lacked even more in that moment was courage and confidence and a belief in herself and in the possibility of her dreams. This, to me, is a vital part of the story. This cannot be left out. Ariana didn't know if audiences would have room in their hearts for her particular Anita, for an Anita that looked like her and sounded like her and was rooted in the perspective that only Ariana had to offer. And that was terrifying for her. And that is the part of her story that inspires me the most. Creative success, it seems to me, is, it so often comes when we move beyond the fear and we take those creative leaps, the leaps of faith that have really been assigned to us. As artists, we know even reluctantly that those risks, those are the risks that may be tremendously difficult, but in the end, they leave us and our audiences transformed. She's so powerful. And the courage that she brings to her creative work is the same courage that she draws on to use her platform to fill the world with more love, whether it's with Covenant House or AS4. As a member of several marginalized communities, as a woman, as a queer person, as an Afro-Latina, as a theater nerd, they have it hard. Ari is using her success and her vulnerability and her visibility to normalize her beautiful complexity.